As most of the world has known for a good long while now, we have a dementia-addled placeholder occupying the White House. This has only become more and more clear as the weeks and months have rolled on, and President Biden's handling, or lack of handling, of the Afghanistan implosion seems to have finally pushed things beyond the point that big media is even going to try to cover things up anymore. Whether as part of a precisely orchestrated plan, or a more general plan, or just the realization that President Biden cannot even fake the gig sufficiently anymore, big tech big media, and other tools of the elite abuser class behind the big government empire have now apparently decided to openly shift away from President Biden and on to the next elite abuser class installed occupant or puppet in the White House. Between the uncharacteristically at least semi-accurate coverage of President Biden's Afghanistan performance by big media and the fact that Kamala has apparently not been at or anywhere near the resident's side during this dark hour, it appears that we are all being prepped for the transition from resident creepy sleepy Joe to resident kooky Kame Kamala, which seems like a good spot to note here that the American empire is clearly under the judgment of the one true God that it has denied and with whom it is openly and proudly at war. While it's often tempting for many pundits to look at every other aspect of how or why this came to be, how we got to the point that we have such leadership ruling over us, the first and most important answer to that question, and it is a question with an obvious answer, the most fundamentally important important answer to that question is that the God we daily mock as a people has installed this leadership over us. Creepy Joe and Kuki Kamala are ultimately his tools to use as he sees fit, and he is using them even now to bring about the Romans 1 and Psalm 2 judgment that we so richly deserve. So as we transition from the soft, elderly, and mostly disabled Marxism of Creepy Sleepy Joe and into the more aggressive and malignant Marxism of Kuki Kame Kamala, Remember, we deserve this, and we deserve the worst that will come next, until and unless we repent and actually submit to King Jesus as King Jesus over all, including our precious political realm. Until we do that, he will continue to deliver the Romans 1 and Psalm 2 hammer blows that we deserve until our precious idol of the American Empire is smashed to smithereens and ground to dust, leaving the way clear for better people to build something good on the other side of our pride-drenched chapter in his creation of history. So don't blame Kamala too much for being Kamala when she gets the chance to be Kamala on the big stage. Be sure to keep the big picture in mind, beginning with these three immutable facts. Jesus is king right here and now. Romans 1 reads like a biography of the USSA, and Psalm 2 judgment is exactly what that USSA deserves and is getting right now. If you appreciate this perspective, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a deeper dive into subjects like this, subscribe to the weekly newsletter at HellraiserReport.com.